a problem because essentially the G20 is a piece of theatre and how that, roughly speaking, is going to organise some alternative theatre. The G20 is where the, um, where, you know, the uh, heads of state get together and pretty much, um, uh, obviously, they don't all agree, but essentially they're going to ratify stuff that has been decided elsewhere. Um, nothing of substance is likely to be debated by, by the assembled leaders or you know, they'll come with a few predetermined points of agreement and disagreement. But essentially, it's, it's, um, it really isn't where the action is. Um, now, I'm not trying to be conspiratorial here. I'm just saying this is, this is pretty much true of every organisation of this kind, you know, royal commissions and so forth. All the work is, is done by the, uh, by the secretariat and people like that, the public servants and, and people who are appointed uh, to run the show. Uh, then you know, the, uh, the, the official heads of state get together and put a rubber stamp and maybe a little bit of a twig on. So, um, uh, so, so, but of course, you can't go and protest those people. We can't go along to the offices of the OEC in Paris or even more, and I'll be talking mainly about this, the meetings that are producing the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and do anything, that, sort of, that stuff is all happening in places where we can't see it. Um, uh, so the G20 is where they get to present the fruits of these liberations to us, and we get some opportunity, very limited probably, to say something, um, say something about it. So that's, I guess, um, that's, I guess, it for me and the G20. Um, it's part of, yeah. It, it really is a, a situation where, essentially, the uh, leaders of the major, uh, the major capitalist economies get together and and uh, ratify uh, as much of the collective wisdom as they agree on. Now that's that's not everything. Yeah, but, but it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And you can call this all sorts of things, neoliberalism, economic rationalism. Being uh, an academic, I try and use a neutral term, which I call market liberalism, which is essentially the kind of ideas which have been in charge for the last 30 or 40 years, very different from the sort of um, Keynesian social democracy that characterised uh, capitalism in the years after, after World War II, uh, and which um, has failed pretty spectacularly in the context of the global financial crisis. Uh, that's less evident here in Australia, where a combination of good luck and good management has, has kept the worst consequences of the crisis away, but very clearly we're five years and counting since the collapse of Lehman Brothers. Essentially, uh, in most of Europe there's been no recovery at all. In the US, um, uh, the um, although you can see recovery in some of the uh, gross domestic product numbers, if you look at the proportion of population who's in work, that fell like a stone in 2008 and hasn't moved since. So there really has been, the US of course, treats the unemployed very badly, so the unemployment rate's fallen because what's the point of being unemployed when you've been thrown off benefits after 26 weeks, as, as happened in 1999, as happened in the US. But essentially there's been no recovery at all um, from the, um, from the uh, crisis in 2008 and no real sign.